shadows. Samus, on the other hand, we saw plenty of this character at Prime Saga not too long ago. And Samus is in a weird spot in this game. She, I think she excels in some matchups and some are just pretty horrendous. I don't know where Falco falls for her. I, that's actually a good question. You know, I, I would say like Falco at the very least um, has a, refl a reflector which can give Samus pause for some of the... Oh, no. That's a rough start there for Blaziken. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I hate to say it, the last time I played Blaze Kiss as well, there was one game that, was, you know, it would have been last hit, last dock, and um, that up -E just not going as far as you need it to sometimes, especially if you're trapped under a weird stage like uh, Pokemon. Yeah, that can be a difficult situation to get past, but it doesn't look like that SD really hurt him all too much. He's still keeping it very competitive here in this game one. Absolutely. I mean, he is a fantastic player after all, though I am liking, and this will probably be one of the... Uh, this is, this will probably be one of the main uh, factors to look out for this uh, uh, matchup is if Tsukasa is going to be able to stuff the Falcos an uh, with anti-airs like you saw with the Uppy in the middle yeah. of the stage a while back. I think both of these characters have exceptional anti-air games and it's just going to be a matter of trying to stay below the other player. Look at this ledge trapping I though. I really love that two frame with the bomb. Yeah. That was excellent there from Sukasa. Put a little fear into the heart. Oh, sour spot there to up uh, to up throw to uh, fair to fair again, but getting interrupted by the bomb. Yeah, I love that Falco down tilt. That's such a meaty hitbox. Oh yeah, da Falco down tilt has been one of my favorite moves since melee. <gasps> wow, look at this edge trapping from Sukasa. Relentless. You know, and it's okay that he didn't do anything there because he's saying I can if I want to. And that's going to stop uh, Falco from thinking he can go down for free every single time. Yeah, uh, that's some nice kill. conditioning early on in the set. Yeah. Uh, okay. Not getting the strong hit. The strong hit would have absolutely sent him careening off stage. Maybe not a kill, but... Um, the back throw will definitely do that. <laughs> absolutely. You know, Samus's kill throws are actually kind of underrated. Back throw at the ledge for most characters will do pretty well, but, you know, hers is particularly vicious. And then having an up throw, especially on a stage like Stadium, but up tilt to back air, a classic killer for uh, Falco. That Falco back air is so unassuming, man. But that move is a killer. Yeah, especially with the wrong DI. <gasps> oh, okay, I what's think this going to be? Turn around, grab up throw, up air, not too bad. Gets a little bit of forward air damage. These bombs are amazing for interrupting the long strings that we're accustomed to seeing from Falcos, and especially Blaze Kisses Falco. It's almost the way you see Snake use grenades to get out of combat. <gasps> wow, no, okay. No. Oh my god. Yeah, I he's alive. I also forgot that that one I don't think spikes. Wow. Blaze Kiss with the. Okay, let's see it. Oh, very good DI. Wonderful uh, no. fade to ledge. Not out of this just yet. The SD early on did hurt him, but he is looking to bring this back. Is Sukasa going to stop him right in his tracks? Oh, that was that was almost off the top. And, you know, uh, hopefully in uh, Blaziken's head, if he does end up losing this match, is, you know, I SD'd anyway, and it was al already this close. So, like, next time I could take it if I just, like, don't kill myself. That While that is true, you got to remember, this is a best of three. So right. one game loss, and it's already championship point. Wow. Yeah, no, that, that's, that's a really great thing to mention. Um, every time I see you, oh, and Ooh, that is absolutely wow. going Kicked to be it. Kicked in the stomach. <laughs> that looked painful. It really did. Um, I, I do want to say about this matchup, I think we were talking about it earlier. Um, you know, having the reflector is amazing for Falco, but maybe not necessarily having the dash speed to zone break Samus as often as other characters such as Prime Roy. And I do think the stage actually played a big role in that matchup. Pokemon Stadium 2, people love... It's the Smashville of this game. People have starting there, but I think it actually benefits projectile characters quite a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Just so huge, and there's no top platform. Yeah, I'm that guy. I don't I don't go there first. You know, it, it, it's with the mindset of, if like, being a homie means putting myself at a disadvantage for the set. Like, yeah. no, thank you. Um, you can, you can uh, all homie stock and go PS2 and friendlies. I promise. Don't homie stock, kids. That's the moral <laughs> of the story. Don't don't be a yeti. Oh no! Oh no! Don't be a mango. I, well, I mean, there are aspects. If you want to be the greatest in the world, be mango. And yeti even got away with it too, man. Right? It's just what happens when you game that five good. losers bracket. Anyway, this don't, is don't be like a, a swerve against legend at World Eight. Oh. <laughs> Shoutouts to our USC scene. Absolutely. Um, 
Now, we're going to see uh, the next game on Town and City, which I think is a wonderful stage for Falco to pick, especially considering the Samus is up there like we were talking about. Can you elaborate a little more on why you feel that way? Yes, uh, the high vertical ceiling is going to make the up throw kill a lot uh, later and uh, up air, up air, up B kill a lot later as well. And so, uh, my, barring any charge shots uh, or back airs mostly uh, from the Samus, her Ooh. killing options have absolutely decreased. <gasps> oh, and the downer not being that. And Falco basically killing off the sides like that. And, you know, Samus you being see, heavy, though. Yeah, I can't believe that didn't kill, to be completely honest with you. Fun fact for anybody who doesn't know, Samus is actually one unit heavier than Ridley. Wow. Too big for the game. Wow. The, you know you know what three moves Falco just hit Samus with? It was F smash, up smash, up smash. Incredible. Sometimes that's all you need, man. Really? Just who and needs tilt attack? Something I will say about Tsukasa in this set is how conservative he has been. Oh, no. Not again. again. <laughs> but Tsukasa has been so conservative with that shard shot. Just the fear of knowing that it could come out at any moment, but also the fear on Tsukasa's end of Falco possibly reflecting it back. That'll that'll KO probably at like 20, 30%. Yeah, and I want to say real quickly about that that SD, quote unquote. Sure. Um, uh, props to Tsukasa because uh, Tsukasa did put the bomb out there, hitting him, forcing him into the really hard angle. Yeah, there wasn't really much Blaziskas could have done there. Yeah, except hit, you know. The, the, it hit the perfect of all angles. Blaziskus, though, despite that as a D, I mean, it was a little later percent, and now he's finding himself in the lead here uh, in this game, too. Missing that punish, though. It doesn't take much for Samus to really even this up, though. And the missile going below the shine, that was very interesting, managing to hit Falco. Okay. Back air almost taking it out, but from middle stage won't do much yet. That armor. I'm really impressed with, with this Samus. Maybe it's just me, but I, I get hit by, by uh, Falco's forward air way more than this Samus is. Yeah, I wonder, you have to wonder if he has any matchup experience or if it's just something where that's just the way he spaces normally and he's just accustomed to this type of matchup. Oh, oh. the call out, that was nasty. The call out on both ends. You know, it, it, technically Blazikus did have the right read. Unfortunately, the patience and the... the I mean, Sukasa called out Blaziscus' call out. Oh, exactly. It was that, it was that third eye level. Max read. level mind <laughs> games. And just like that, we're going to see a 1 1, but look how much damage Blaziscus already yeah, has. Yeah, weren't we just talking about how Blaziscus <laughs> was in the lead here, and now he's about to get oh! two out? Sorry, stream. What? Rip headphone users. <laughs> Rip us. We're using headphones. Oh yes, that does include us. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Blaze Kiss is in a really rough spot here. He's wow. going to have to bring a miracle. And see, that's what I'm talking about. That yeah. would have killed on Pokemon Stadium. So would have killed in Smash 4 Town and City. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wow, the last hit affair. GG's, that's 2 out. Yeah, 2 0 for Sukasa. Very, very solid Samus play right there.